Hi everyone. Hope you are all doing good. Today's topic of discussion is single use bioreactor. If you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the latest updates. Now, let's get into the topic. A single use bioreactor or a disposable bioreactor is a bioreactor with a disposable bag instead of a culture vessel made from stainless steel or glass. The disposable bag is usually made of three layer plastic foil. Many mammalian cell based biotech producers are moving into the single use bioreactor modules for leveraging the advantages of single use bioreactors. Let's see the types of single use bioreactors. Based on the agitation mode, there are two types of single use bioreactors. One is the stirrer type and the other one is the rocking motion type. The single use bioreactor which uses stirrer like uh, conventional bioreactors but the stirrers are integrated into the plastic bag. The closed bag and the stirrer are pre-sterilized. In use, the bag is mounted in the bioreactor and the stirrer is connected to the driver mechanically or magnetically. Single use bioreactors that are agitated by rocking motion are the rocking type single use bioreactors. This type of bioreactor does not need any mechanical agitators inside the single use bag. There are multiple single use process steps which are available today including the media preparation, cell cultivation, process development, process optimization and the microbial process in R&D. These are the some of the factors which are driving the development of uh, single use bioreactors. These are mentioned here. So these actually drives the development or improvement of the single use bioreactors which exist today. Let's see some of the advantages of uh, single use bioreactors. Single use bioreactors eliminates validation issues because the cleaning process is not involved here. It shortens the downtime and uh, turn uh, turnaround time because of no cleaning is required. So it's a single use bioreactor and uh, it's disposable after use. So th there is no cleaning required. This also lowers the risk of cross contamination since uh, this uses new bag for each run. So cross contamination is avoided. It has the advantage of decreased operating costs and capital investment. Cost saving from the reduced cleaning needs. And it also eliminates the need of uh, design elements of traditional stainless steel vessels that are uh, dictated by cleaning in place and sterilization in place requirements. And the single use bioreactors are easy for installation. Even though it has uh, these advantages, there are some disadvantages. So let's see the disadvantages of uh, single use bioreactors. It has limitation in the liquid transfer and the scalability is also an issue because larger scale bioreactors bag are bags are required for the uh, larger scale production uh, like 10,000 liters and 20,000 liters. And the single use bioreactors are expensive to use and uh, repetitive purchases are required for each run. And its performance is not completely proven as in the stainless steel uh, bioreactors because of its uh, new technology. As mentioned earlier, the disposable bag systems are difficult to justify for uh, dedicated products or uh, greater than 10,000 liters bioreactor scale process. Most of the uh, large scale facilities will already have an investment in the ground for the tanks and the required cleaning validation to support multiple product uses. So introducing single use bioreactors in that system is an added cost. And uh, these bags have potential for punctures. So this may leak. And uh, this also has a lim limitation of uh, storing hot liquids. And when the reactor is full, moving of the reactor is very difficult. Single use bioreactor is difficult. And it is uh, sensitive to pressure and temperature. And the disposal costs are also high. The key challenges uh, facing the developers and end users of uh, single use bioprocess technologies includes the limited scale, the restricted diversity of uh, options and the lack of standardization. The most uh, disposable technologies that have been developed for maximum upstream production scale of around 2000 liter cell cultures. And uh, these scales are uh, limited to limited compared to the conventional technologies. So scaling up 
to have uh, more than 2000 or 5000 liters is a problem in single use bioreactor systems even though there are advantages and uh, and some disadvantages also the key features for progressing for single use bioreactors are the wide acceptance of uh, bioprocess bags single use bioreactors are scalable and uh, performance comparable to the stainless steel bioreactors a uh, scalable up to uh, 2000 or 5000 liters and 1000 liter bioreactor scales can open up uh, opportunities in commercial applications and uh, here are the list of commercially available single use bioreactor systems hope you are clear with the single use bioreactor topic if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends thank you